couple of months I've been saving a few of my things inside a bag and it's kind of random. I'm gonna try and go through them quickly because I don't want the video to be too long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them out and talk about them as I do. So the first thing is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I honestly don't like this at all, the smell. I feel like it actually dries me out a little bit. Also, for reference, my skin is combination and sensitive, so it's kind of like hard to find things that work with me. Just like I said, it really dried out my skin. I felt like it didn't really do anything other than that. I know a lot of people do enjoy this and they do say that it works for them and it's one of their favorite setting sprays, so it kind of just depends on your skin and how it reacts to it. I feel like it didn't do anything for me. This next thing is for hair and it's not an empty but I just I'm over it so I decided to throw it in this video but it's the Chi 44 Iron Guard Thermal Protection Spray. I honestly don't even know if they still make this anymore. I think it's that old. That's probably why I'm over it. But I do like the smell. If you've ever used the Chi Silk Infusion Solution, like the little shine serum that you put in your hair from them, if you've ever used that one, it smells like that. It's not like cologne but it's kind of a scent like that. Next thing is the cleansing water from Garnier and it's this one with the blue top. I do really like this. I wanted to try the pink one. I don't know why I didn't get the pink one. If you just put a little on a cotton round and just keep that on your eye for a few seconds your makeup is going to wipe off super easily. That way you're not tugging and pulling at your skin in your eye area. Next is sort of a hit and miss. I did enjoy it at first but at the end I kind of got over it. Definitely going to try a different brand for this but I it's the Malibu Tan Hemp Moisturizer Body Lotion. It says it's for dry skin and let's see, let's see. You get 18 fluid ounces in this and honestly, it's not that I don't recommend it. I just don't like specific brand. I was looking for one that says hemp on it, but they didn't have it. So I picked up this one instead. It works really well. For some reason, I just don't like the smell and I'm hoping that it's just this brand. The smell kind of makes me want to throw up. So hopefully, like I said, a different brand smells differently. Next thing I have is a Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner. They're like the markers and these are really great for the price too. This eyeliner I think is one of the best eyeliners I've tried. Super inexpensive. Only problem with this is that the lids just pop off and in my makeup bag they just come off. They don't stay on. I you see right there? That sound right there? That was a marker ejecting itself across my table. <laughs> but like sometimes they don't click and even if they do if it wants to pop off it will pop off like i said i would find it sometimes in my makeup bag just open and then it's dry i don't know if it's just my luck everyone that i get that they just pop open so that's my only thing that's the downfall that it has it continues to break open burst open whatever oh and then also i've gone through so many of these sometimes the marker tips they get like when you're trying to close it, it bends. When you're trying to close it, they can fray at the end. So it just totally, there it goes again, totally messes up the felt tip. The next thing is a hair product again. It's the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. But this is one of the best heat protectants that I've used. It's really inexpensive, so I have so much have to show you guys. The next thing is the Olay Complete All Day Moisture Cream. And this one. She looks like that. I honestly don't know if the packaging is different. I'm telling you, I've been holding this for so long. Like I said, my skin is combination and sensitive. This was for sensitive. Normally, I go for sensitive. The only thing is with this one, I feel like it's really like oily. I feel like it's because of the sunscreen that it has in there. It does have the broad spectrum SPF 15. It does have the smell of the sunscreen. That's one of the reasons why I didn't like it. The next thing is the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Weightless Healing Dry Oil. These were really popular for a while. I really do like the smell, but I feel like it really weighed down my hair. Normally, my hair doesn't get greasy super fast, but when I would apply this, like, say first day hair, I would use this that day, the next day my hair would already be super oily. And I would only apply it mid shaft and down. So I'm not sure why it was making my hair oily like that. I don't hate it. It does give you shine, but like I said, I felt like it weighed down my hair and it just made my hair a lot more oily. Next thing is the Infusium 23 Moisture Replenisher. It's a leave-in treatment. This stuff is amazing. I put it on when I get out of the shower. I'm gonna use a wide tooth comb with this. It smells really good. It helps remove the tangles, makes your hair a lot softer. I 
really do recommend it. The next thing is the Manzanilla Greasy 2-in-1 Aclarante y Desenredante, which is basically just a lightener and it's supposed to kind of untangle your hair, but I feel like it doesn't really do that. I used to use the shampoo. I've been using this since I was younger. Before I started dyeing my hair doing any of that, I used to spray this in my hair. It would make my natural highlights a lot brighter. I love this stuff. The only thing is some people might not like the smell because it's kind of strong. It's the smell of Manzanilla, but I definitely recommend and that to you guys. Next thing is the Dove Dry Spray. It was in the clear finish. Honestly, do not recommend. I don't like it at all. I really wanted to try out the whole spray deodorant thing, but I just wasn't a fan. Of I waited so long to record this video that I don't even remember how I feel about that, but I know that I'm not gonna buy it again. I just remember that I, I wasn't feeling it. Next thing I have is a Dove hairspray, but I think they don't even sell this anymore and I'm so sad because it was one of my favorite hairsprays of all time. You don't understand. But this was the Dove Hair Therapy Style and Care Strength and Shine Extra Hold Hairspray and it was in this bottle with a clear cap. What's up? Welcome back. It's been months since I've been trying to finish this. I'm just gonna go ahead and just continue off of that. It's gonna look different. It's gonna sound different. And I'm talking a lot in that video. I don't even know how it was all comfortable or whatever back then because I'm still kind of weird with it now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling out things from this bag because I need to get this video done. The first product that I have is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. Completely finished this one. The thing I did like about this is that the way that it's made, like in here, it has this little thing that you can turn and you control how much powder you want to come out. I know most powders have a sticky plastic sheet that's just over the top of it and then once you take it off that's it. So I do like that it was like that on this one. I will say that because of my skin it just wouldn't sit right. It was like a little bit too drying for me I guess. But it is a good powder. It's really thin to me, really fine. It also says skin smoothing priming powder and finishing veil. I don't know about the priming part but I would use it. A lot of these products are going to be old. I'm telling you, I've been holding these for such a long time. So some of these are going to be like, why are you even showing us this? This bottle is really, really messed up and gross. But the Ariana perfume. I don't even know which one it was. I guess it's her first one with a little pom-pom on the side. That's a cute perfume. If you're into really sweet. Oh, gee, that's really sweet. <laughs> Almost baby powder. Not baby powder. Because then that smells like Paris Hilton or something. But... Really like sweet girly vibes. <laughs> Just know that it's a good perfume if you like sweet things. Next thing I have is the Pond's Rejuvenous Anti Wrinkle Cream. This is really, really moisturizing. I love putting this on at night and I absolutely love, 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 love it. Garnier Skin Act. How do you say it? Garnier? The Garnier Skin Active. Oh my god, I'm gonna look that up because I feel like that's wrong. I guess we're gonna say Garnier. The Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. And this was uh, for normal and combo skin. I really love this one. It's really lightweight and it does not leave your skin feeling greasy at all. And I love when moisturizers are like that. I hate when I use a moisturizer and I feel oily or it takes too long to dry. Next thing that I have is Simple Soothing Facial Toner. It's 100% alcohol free. Yeah, it says no harsh chemicals, no artificial perfume or dyes. I do like this. I haven't had a toner in a while. I started using Witch Hazel, but I feel like I should get back to the toner because when I was using this, I feel like it was just a good step in my skincare routine. I feel like it did help because I noticed after I would wash my face, I would use this and you can see a lot more of the dirt that was stuck in my face. So that was really nice. Uh, the next thing I have is this perfume. It's the smallest size. Okay, I'm convinced that I'm not supposed to record this video because I've had to stop so many times already. Continue on into this big bag. Next is a Garnier Fruit Tease. Or why did I say Garnier and then the other time I said Garnier? Anyways, this brand of hairspray, it's the Wonder Waves Wave Enhancing Spray. Think of like a sea salt spray without the roughness and the dryness. It smells really good too. It's really good for like 
wavy hair. The Benefit That Gal Brightening Face Primer. It's not a bad primer. It is lightweight and it does feel kind of sticky once it starts to dry, obviously. Which I think is kind of a good thing when you're putting foundation on. I don't think it was like an amazing primer, but it does the brightening that it claimed. So if you're looking for a brightening primer, then that's one that you should look into. The next one is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Black Fever. I don't know if they changed the formula on this, but I remember before 2012, they used to have a pencil, Black Fever, and it was amazing. It didn't smudge, it stayed in place all day, and it was dark. So I picked up this one because it's named the same and it's from the same brand. But I don't know, I feel like it's not really the same. It claims to be 18 hours plus waterproof. I never tested that out, but it smudged on me, so... I don't know if that's just me or if it happened to anybody else. Next thing is another. This is Garnier Nutritionist, I suppose. <laughs> A different one, but it's the Ultra Lift Anti-Wrinkle Firming Eye Cream. I actually wanted to get this again. I haven't had it in a long time. I wasn't consistent with the use of it, so I'm not sure if it really made a big difference. But it does feel good on the skin. It's not greasy. I have three mascaras here. One of them is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. I really like this mascara on days where I have like natural, neutral looking makeup or not a lot of makeup. And I really like how this formula is on the lashes. It doesn't feel heavy at all and they're very movable. Like your lashes aren't stiff i recommend this mascara it's a good one for being drugstore as well and it's, i don't think it's expensive i think it's like five something kind of like the falsy that's another good one that i really like uh, this next one is the covergirl the super sizer fibers this one honestly yeah i didn't like it i thought it would be good for lengthening just because i've noticed whenever i get mascaras with brushes like this it's good for lengthening at least what i experienced this one really wasn't life-changing or anything as i thought it would be this is the maybelline one by one volume express in satin black this is one of my most favorite mascaras I used to get this here in the U.S. They discontinued it. But anyways, I was in Mexico and I saw that they had this mascara. And this is like one of my holy grail mascaras. One of the best mascaras. It's one of these brushes. This was so good at giving volume to the lashes. At lengthening and separating. It was such a great mascara. I love it. I need to go back to get some more because that... It's bomb. This one is the original that I got in the US. It's the exact same brush. And then this uh, this one over here is the one that I got in Mexico. If you ever see this mascara, you really need to pick it up. Pick up one of these or two or three if you can. Because I promise you, it's one of the best mascaras ever. Especially for being drugstore. Not that drugstore is bad, but a lot of people don't like drugstore makeup. But... Okay, back to this haul type of deal <laughs> again. I had to stop the video, but now I'm back. And this next thing is some beauty lotion. It's from this brand. And it's the Ultra Hydrating Beauty Lotion. In the original formula, it says for softening and smoothing, helps soothe dry skin, non-greasy. I even left some behind because I didn't like it. It does have like a weird feeling to it. It's not thick and rich. It is lightweight. I don't recommend it. I don't think it really does anything. Whenever I would use it on my face, I didn't really feel like it was moisturizing at all. Next, I have this same brand that I just showed you of the lotion. It says, compared to Tom's of Maine, natural aluminum free deodorant long lasting aluminum free deodorant and it was in the scent under this was weird it really burned me honestly i don't know why i didn't look into why it burned me but that's what was happening so i stopped using it it smells good i'm not sure i'm sure it would work with somebody because everybody is different so next thing is l'oreal infallible paints liquid eyeliner in black party i also have this one in the white and i never got any of the other colors because i did not like this one it's not very dark at all i noticed that these eyeliners for some reason no product is coming all the way down to the end so you end up having to press and then your line just gets all messed up so it's like I've seen that a lot of people actually like this, but like I said, for me, it didn't work out. 
this one's old you see i told you guys i've been holding things for a long time to do a video like this this is the femme couture the lightning lash lengthening mascara i don't know if it has anything in it that's supposed to help with the lengthening but it's one of these type of brushes and typically these are good for lengthening from what i remember it was a good mascara but it was not anything insane like yes it helped with the lengthening but it wasn't like wow i need to keep buying this product all the time because it was not. I was talking about this mascara earlier. The Maybelline Falsies Mascara. I really like the brush on this one. It's really good at finding out your lashes. This is a mascara that I pick up when I don't really know what to pick. Because I know it's a good mascara. I can't really be disappointed with this one at all. This next thing I have are the two Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Concealers. I have one in Fair and I have one in Light. I like to use both of them. They both have like different tones to them. That's why I have both and I like to use both under my eyes. Sometimes I use this as a foundation. If I do put anything all over my face, it's going to be con conditioner. It's going to be concealer because that's what I use. Uh, another concealer that is one of my favorites. This is something that I started using when I started using makeup, which was like 10th grade. This is the Rimmel London Match Perfection Highlight and Concealer in 125 Fair. And if you go back on some of my old videos, I've used it. The only downfall of this is that it has this type of applicator brush. I wish it was just like a squeeze too without the brush. That would have been so much better. And the reason why I say that is because it's so rough if you ever try and use that i'm not saying like trying to blend with it or anything but just like applying it it is kind of rough and that's weird why would you put a rough brush on something that goes on your eyes especially on a delicate area it's the pons clarent b3 dark spot correcting cream it claims to diminish dark spots even skin tone and it's from normal to dry skin that lotion is really good for like a daily moisturizer it's not too thick and it's not too greasy on the skin at all feels really nice and it's very moisturizing so I really do recommend that. Next mascara that I have is the Better Than Sex by Too Faced mascara. This mascara I feel like it's so overly hyped for no reason. For me I did not like it at all. I didn't think it was anything amazing. I really did not like the brush. I don't like when the brushes are super huge. This one's not that huge but I don't like when the brushes are super huge and their bristles like that. It's just not I feel like I like more of the plastic bristles. I think they comb through better and they separate a lot better. Next is the Herbal Essences Long Term Relationship Leave-In Protector. This is for your split ends, so it says split end protector. And it smells so good. I don't even know if they make this anymore. Like I said, old products. In this video, I know. I'm sorry. Next thing is the Palladio Lip Stain in Pinky. And this is it's an extra long wearing lip marker non-drying formula. This is what it looks like, a little marker. But no, I don't recommend this at all. It was very drying. You can't even really tell this on your lips. So, so here we are again. Something always happens when I'm trying to record this video. I'm almost done with this bag. This is all that I have left. Um, I have the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. This is the very first product that I got from this brand. This is the second pot that I bought. It's like that. And honestly, a lot of people say that it's overhyped. I kind of think it is. But at the same time, I think it's a good quality pomade. It's just like if you think the price is in your range, then it's really up to you on that. The next thing that I wanted to show you guys are some lashes that I used to use before I ventured into other brands and such. I still pick these up from time to time. I just haven't gone to the shop that I get them from because it's a local store here in my city. The cream shop or the I don't know what you want to call them. This brand. And like I said, they're all $1. At least where I purchased them from. And I do recommend them, especially if you're just starting out learning how to apply lashes. They're really easy to apply. They're really flexible. They're pretty for the price. Next thing is a Femme Couture Flawless Touch Eye Primer. This is old. I stopped using it. Also a little, a quick makeup hack. I mean, I do this. I'm pretty sure there's other people that do it as well. But if you look into like, any product that has a stopper inside, like a lip gloss tube, concealer tube, anything like that, they're going to have a stopper right here. It's like a piece of plastic. It keeps from all the product just coming out on the brush at once. Just get like scissors or something to help you pop out the plastic. 
it'll be like this able to like scoop around the whole thing so that's a little hack to get the most out of your product i'm not gonna use this because this is really old i actually don't recommend this primer it feels really weird thin and oily instead of your eyeshadow adhering to it it slides all around not good next thing i have is another eyeliner and this is the benefits their real push-up liner i thought it was really cool i wanted to try it out because i thought it was a cool concept pencil gel eyeliner pen thing going on you're supposed to like be able to put it really close to your lash line and get really in there be precise with it i thought it was really cool because it had the angle the whole idea is cute it just didn't come out but my only issue is that i feel like it would just come out you know how when you get pencils and they're like so rough they don't just glide they're not creamy at all i felt like it was like that like it was always breaking trying to create a line that's the only thing that i didn't like about it this is the Herbal Essences Tussle Me Softly Tussling Spray Gel. This is bomb. I don't know if they still make this, but I love the way that it smells. It was such a good hairspray. It says it's lightweight, and it really was lightweight. It really did keep your waves really cute. Um, next thing is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. It has broad spectrum SPF 30, 1.18 fluid ounces. What else? What else? It says the uses are helps prevent sunburn and that's it. <laughs> Treat your skin every day with a powerhouse of skincare benefits infused with naturally radiant color in one easy step. A multitasking genius, this lightweight skin quenching gel cream smooths on effortlessly with just the right amount of coverage. Instantly your complexion reveals a dewy, healthy looking glow. But this one, I just wanted to try it because I don't really wear foundation and I'm always trying to find something that's light because I'm not used to foundation and I'm not used to the whole matching. So it's always hit and miss with stuff like this. I'm lucky if I find a good concealer in my shade. So when it comes to overall face, overall foundation, it's really hard for me to find something. So I will say, oh, this is not Birch. I think it's too light for me, but I still keep it because I like to put it as a base when I do like really artsy, creative makeup. But other than that, I do like the way it feels. It's not heavy at all. Uh, benefits, precisely my brow pencil. This is in the shade 3.5. It says that it's 12 hour wear, waterproof. I didn't get to see if that was true. I tried the mini size, which I'm so thankful I got the mini because I did not like it at all. But I only think it's because I'm not really like a pencil person when it comes to my brows. I'm more of like either powder or pomade or gel tinted mascara. Lots of people recommended this to me. A lot of people love it. So if you're looking for a pencil, then you should try this one out. For the mini, I think it was like 12 bucks. 10 or 12 bucks. Okay, I'm trying to finish this right now. This is it. We're going to power through this and we're going to be done with this. Okay, next thing I have are two perfumes. They're both from Victoria's Secret. One is the Bombshell and one is Victoria's Secret Teas. Honestly, the Teas is a lot better when you're comparing these two. I guess it depends on what you like because this might be too sweet for some. I think it's a really like sexy type of scent for going out. Or I mean, even if you like to wear this throughout the day, it's it's a really cute scent. The Bombshell kind of reminds me of a unisex type of perfume. It smells more like cologne to me, but it's not a manly cologne, if that makes sense. There's also a lot of different bombshell perfumes that they have. You can look into it. Next thing I have, I got at TJ Maxx for $2.99, which I'm pretty sure that's really discounted. This is the Buxom Big Tease Plumping Mascara. And I really do like this mascara. It's a size like this, a small size. But for that size, I think it's lasted me a long time. This is in Black is Black, and it's very dark. I do like that. And I also, earlier throughout the video, I said I didn't like when um, the bristles are like baby bottle cleaner bristles. I, I don't like that at all. I like more of the plastic bristles, but when it comes to that mascara, I do like those bristles that it has. Next thing, a bunch of mascaras that I'm going to be talking about. This one is the Benefits Their Real Lashes. I see one of the best mascaras I've ever tried, like ever, ever. I really, really love this brush just because of how spiky it is. And then how that spike ball is at the end, it really helps you get in all the corners and everything. I prefer to pick up the mini size. Another one is the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Angel. This one is not anything really life-changing. The brush is kind of, it's alright. It's a good brush. It does fan out on the side. I think it would be a good mascara to pair with something else. With this being the lengthening aspect of the pair. You know what I mean? Most of my mascaras are in black. Unless 
I state otherwise. The next two, I have two little minis. Another one is from Benefit Bad Gal Lash. I don't like this brush. It's one of those baby bottle bristle things. I think this one was overrated for a long time, but I guess it's an okay mascara if you want something that's not drugstore, but it's not like, so high-end. The next little mini I have is a Pure Cosmetics Volume Vixen 4-in-1 Mascara. I don't remember why it's 4-in-1, but this is another of those baby bottle bristles, but I did like this. I really liked using this mascara whenever I did uh, more of a natural look just because it made my lashes look a lot fuller and just cute. Um, I have three more mascaras and then a lash serum. I'll go with the lash serum first. This is the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator Serum and it's supposed to have like growth stuff in it. This is old, but if they still make this, which I'm pretty sure they do because I think I've seen the mascara, I suggest picking this up unless you find another that you like. This for being drugstore, it works. If you do want something else that you can use other than like something like this, you can use castor oil on your eyebrows or your eyelashes. Be careful when you put it around your eyes because some people do say that it burns. I did notice that it helped with the thickness of my brows and my lashes before when I was applying them every night. For sure, it's really vibe my brows i do recommend using castor oil it helps bring out the dormant hair i suppose you could say another mascara is the rimmel london volume colorist this is the mascara with the lash tint complex now i don't really know if it actually tinted my lashes like it claimed but i did like how dark that this mascara was i would layer this also with another mascara because i was using it for the tint factor not so much the actual like brush and all of that. Next mascara is the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. Honestly, I just picked this one up because I heard that it had the little ball wand. And in the middle, it has that too. I think there's another one. I think it's the Telescopic Mascara that's kind of like this one. And I do actually like it. I like when mascaras have this type of brush because, like I said, you can really get into the inner corners and the outer corners and get all them lashes from root to tip. So I do recommend that one. This last mascara is one of my holy grails and I have not been able to find it. I probably have to order it online. But this is the Rimmel London Glam Eyes Mascara. And this, oh my gosh, I was obsessed. I'm still obsessed. I wish I could find it. But this was the type of wand that it had. And I believe it was it's plastic, yeah. This is one of my favorite mascaras I used to love. It was so great at lengthening and volumizing. And then I loved using it on my lower lashes. It would make them so long. If you find this mascara, don't play yourself and pick it up. You need to have it in your collection. And if you find it, you better send me one because I can't find it anymore. So if you find it, you gotta send it to me because I put you on. Unless you already knew about it, then either way, send me one because I need it. <laughs> This next pencil is a brow pencil from NYX. It's a NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I'd heard good reviews about this, so I decided I'm picking this up. But like I said previously, I'm not a pencil person when it comes to brows. So I did like that this had the spoolie on the end because it's convenient. It's already in one product. But maybe it's the color that I got. I got it in chocolate and maybe it just didn't match with my hair at the time. I just feel like it was not super creamy like i mentioned about the benefits gel eyeliner thing it was really it was too thick and it would just break off whenever i would use it i tried using a light hand using a heavy hand just it just didn't work out for me this next pencil is the maybelline define a line eyeliner in ebony black and it has a smudge right here that's disgusting i like how dark this is the only thing is that it does smudge i used to use it for my waterline and it smudges a lot with me it was always smudging if i wore it on my waterline it would be down here this is the l'oreal true match natural powder concealer i don't know i can't even see anymore but this thing was bomb honestly and i had it in fair slash light this is the l'oreal magic decrease eyelid primer i do not like this one at all i don't recommend it my eyeshadow was not pigmented at all on this i feel like it made my eyeshadows look duller in a way and i think this was like eight dollars or nine dollars so i don't even think that it was worth the price that i paid especially being drugstore and it not working at all when i could have just used a concealer instead of that Moving on, this is the Wet n Wild 
Photo Focus Concealer in Light Ivory. This is bomb. This is one of the best drugstore concealers I've used. Another good thing is that it's vegan and cruelty free. So that's really cool. A little bit goes a long way with this concealer also. And it's not heavy on the skin either. Which The very last thing that I have is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I'm sure they still have this. Oh, it's in fair light. But it's neutral. I have both cool and warm undertones. So that's another reason why I have issues finding foundation and concealer and all of that for myself. Another thing I wanted to add was the e.l.f. Cosmetics Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in Medium Brown. I've been using e.l.f. for the longest ever. This was their eyebrow kit that I used to use way back when I first started. Because I think these were like a dollar or three dollars. Back to the Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. I said this one was in medium brown and this reminds me a lot of the Anastasia brow pomade. I'm not saying it's a dupe. It's along the lines of it. So, Alright, so that's going to be the end of this video. I finally finished it after all these probably years already that I've been trying to film this thing. I'm going to go recycle all of this. Sorry if the video is messy. I don't even know how it's going to be with the editing. So we'll see how this video turns out. But I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.